Hey, how you doing everybody? Welcome. It is Tuesday night. I hope you're all having a great day, great week. And yeah, welcome to Go For It. And it's me, Joe Hosman. Hey, I just want to talk to you guys tonight a little bit about change. You know, do we like it? Do we hate it? What do we like? You know, what do we think about change? I have friends who are moving because their daughter went off to college and they can't handle living in the house by themselves. And I get it. I understand that. I've, I've been through the empty nest syndrome myself. But sometimes it's also good to stay put instead of running away from everything. Because sometimes when we run away from things, it eventually catches up to us. And I really talked with her tonight. I talked about, talk, you know, what, why are you doing what you're doing? And not why, but maybe you should rethink things. And she got mad at me. So I backed off and I, I totally understand where they're coming from. Like I said, been there, done that. But also change means growth. And with them, she's really hoping that, you know, they're going to keep busy with this move and they're going to be able to move forward and, you know, have a little bit different life now that her child has went off to college. And when she explained that to me, I understood it. I really did. They didn't want to live in the same house that they raised their kids in. They're ready for something new and different, which is great. But also, sometimes we need to stop and think, too, don't we? Sometimes people, and I, myself included, will just run off and go do things without even thinking. And I've done it myself, and what has happened is the past always catches up to us unless we take care of the past, unless we take care of things that we need to deal with in the now. Hi, Linda. How you doing, honey? Good to see you. And to me... Of course, when I was younger, I was doing that. And when I, as I got older, it, you know, it started sinking in a little bit more. The old brain started thinking a little bit more that we don't always need to run. We don't always need to keep moving. Oh, hang on a second. Those are my dogs. Wouldn't you know, I get on Facebook Live and they have to come on inside. Anyway. Yes, great to see you, Linda. I've missed you, by the way. And I've missed being on Facebook Live. And I'm making a commitment to you guys to be on here more often than I have been. So, uh, anyway, so getting back to change. It really all depends on your circumstances. But make sure it's the right thing. You know, make sure it's something that is in your heart and your soul. Yes, yeah, sometimes we have to take that gut reaction and we have to just do what we want to do. Hey, you know what? Win or lose, it's going to happen, right? But also there's that point that you need to sit back, think about things for a while. It's, it's a very, you know, give and take world that we live in. So though I've been outside and I was going to actually mow my yard and everything tonight and end up talking to her because she was struggling with the move. And I'll be honest with you, she was struggling with the move. And I really wanted to talk with her about that. So what have you guys been up to? What's been happening in your world? I want to know what positive things, what negative things. And if it is something negative, let's turn it around and let's work it out so we can turn it into a positive thing. If there's change in your life going on right now, what does that change? What's going on? You know, it's a beautiful day here in the Midwest. I know that I don't want the season to change. I don't want it to go to fall, but I know it's going to on Friday. And that's just life. That's part of life. We have to deal with the change. I'm a summer gal. I love summertime. Fall's okay because once fall hits, then I know it's coming after that. And here in the Midwest, I don't like the winter. I like spring. Summer's my favorite. Then fall and then winter. Again, it's all about change though and how we accept change as it comes. Do I like it? No. Do I accept it? Yeah, I do. Because that's, this is where I choose to live. If I didn't choose to live here, I'd move somewhere else. So we all make choices in life. Either we move to get away from what we're dealing with, or we stay put and deal with the here and the now. So, if you're in business, how are you doing in business? Are you what, are you, what steps are you doing to move forward in business? You know, I'm still doing the Hilo, and I love my Hilo, and I love being able to talk to people about it, and also about my business coaching. I love helping people with the business coaching. It gives... I'm able to go from my experience and give to them. And that is something I ask every day. Who can I help today? That is one thing I ask every day. Who can I help today? And it's a great knowing that those people are going to come into my life and that I'm able to help them. So I'm going to keep this short because I know it's late. And But I'm going to commit to you guys to come back on more often during the week. 
probably two to three times during the week. I miss you guys. I've been traveling so much lately, but it's also been a lot of fun. Troy and I were at uh, Ponca State Park this last weekend selling. We have these, um, or we did have, we don't have them anymore, these um, uh, fire pit thing, chairs, fire pit things, fire pit chairs, but also sell them a Hilo. And then, uh, so that was really fun. Now, also on my show on Thursday, that it is a gal named Lady Jane Fontaine. And she is on for her second show. And she is, she is unstoppable, actually. She is a domestic abuse survivor that has went on to be a very successful entrepreneur. And she is on fire right now. I'm really excited to be able to bring her on the show again for the second time. So she is sponsoring my show and I'm really excited about it. Life does not get better by chance, but by change. That's right, Linda. And if any of you guys are um, wondering about, if you are interested in sponsoring a show, I would love to be able to have you on as a sponsor of the show. I'm booking out now in 2018. I am booked out all the way through the end of 2017 with sponsors for the show. So now I'm booking out into 2018. So if any of you are interested, uh, send me a message and we can talk too about that. It's a, the show is fantastic. You know, it's my heart and my soul, how I give back. And it's just wonderful. I have over 63,000 downloads to the show, which I'm proud of. My goal is uh, 100,000 by the end of the year. Uh, I am working really hard to get there at that number. So if you guys could share my post about my um, about my radio show, I would truly appreciate it. And those that you that do, I totally appreciate you. So that's one of my goals, to have 100,000 downloads by the end of the year. What is one of your goals? Go ahead and put it in the comment section because I would like to know what your goal is. Also, that does not surprise me at all. Go for it. Oh, thanks, Linda. You are so sweet. We need to get together for coffee again real soon. But again, my show is Go For It. It's on Voice America, and now I am heard on the Business Channel every Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. So that would be 11 a.m. Eastern and 8 a.m. Pacific Time. I had to think about it. This Saturday, I am doing a book signing at Crossroads Christian Bookstore in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That will be really exciting. And then the following week, I have some speaking engagements. So... Keep them busy on this end, you guys. Keep them busy. But that's what we do, isn't it? We, as entrepreneurs and business owners and just people in general, we keep busy. It's all about change and going after what we want in life. Right? So, and but when we're just starting out, we really have to hone in on what it is that we want to do and hone in on what we're good at. And I wrote this to, uh, today in my newsletter but if you're kind of unsure about what you're good at, talk to people. Ask people what you're good at. Ask people when they think of you, what do they think of? What do they think of you? And then also, what are your strengths, but also what are your weaknesses from their point of view? Just ask them and say, I'm doing a survey. You know, be brutally honest with me. If you can handle that, I, sometimes it's hard, I know, but it really will help when making a business decision about what you want to do for business. So, all right, that is my words of wisdom for tonight. I hope you guys have a great night. If you are interested in the Hilo, tomorrow night I'm going to get on Facebook Live and I'm going to show you the two-minute video that I show to people about the Hilo. I think you'll be um, amazed at it. I hope you are as much as I am. It's a, it's a great, great um, thing. Also, you know my whitening toothpaste that I have. So you guys have a great night. I appreciate each and every one of you. And remember, you are stronger than what you give yourself credit for. Take care. God bless.